Welcome to IGS 10-Minute Lecture Series. This series is brought by the IGS Department. IGS stands for Integrated Global Studies. In this series, a professor from the department will give you a mini lecture about her or his research area. Good morning, Sensei. Good morning, Tanhuik. Uh, recently, we have been loaded with a lot of news about Ukraine and Russia conflict. How can we understand this from a start? Okay, let's start with the legal aspect. We have important international norms such as non-use of force and uh, non-interference with domestic affairs. So we are seeing the serious violations of these norms. Um, if the situation is like what Russia claims, then the issue of uh, serious violation of uh, minority rights should be discussed at the Security Council of the United Nations. Well, um, the Security Council consists of two types of members, permanent members and non-permanent members. So when the issue is related to uh, permanent members, because these members have veto, it's very difficult for the Security Council to act on the matter. Um, again, if, um, as Russia claims, it's a situation of humanitarian situation like humanitarian intervention, then uh, now, nowadays we have the concept of responsibility to protect. So again, the matter should be discussed at the Security Council. Um, what are the uh, like, consequences for both? Mm -hmm. We can talk about consequences. Okay, that. yeah. So first about Russia, yeah. uh, there is international isolation. Although there are a couple of countries which seems to support yeah. Russia, um, economic problems, which is even expanding to the global scale. Then uh, inside Russia, political destabilization, because people may be unhappy with the uh, economic problems caused by the conflict, or if they uh, start understanding what actually happened, um, there may be a movement against the government. So there would be destabilization or repression against this kind of movement and also um, the increasing number of deaths of soldiers as we are already seeing and for Ukraine um, we see the destruction of cities and villages then death and injuries of people and psycho psychological damage that people suffer also the forced displacement of a high number of people to address these problems, we need reconstruction, uh, rehabilitation of people, and uh, psychological care. Also, um, a kind of new community building, because um, usually all the people who are forced to leave may not return. So for immediate concerns, uh, we need humanitarian assistance, which means food, water, shelter, and uh, medicine. But uh, nowadays, when we talk about humanitarian assistance, we include education, uh, which is called education in emergencies. And how about the other uh, the consequences mm -hmm. after, like, like after the conflict ended? Usually we have like other mm -hmm. consequences. Is there any further consequences for this? Okay, so further consequences, I would talk about um, what hap happens in other places. So. For example, there is arguments for um, nuclear armament. Those who do not have nuclear weapons at the moment, they are considering that they may need nuclear weapons. So this is against the movement to ban nuclear weapons. Another thing is um, because we see war images every day, I, I believe that uh, people in conflict-affected countries and regions um, their trauma is triggered again. So we have to ask, has the international community done everything it could do to prevent this conflict, particularly powerful countries? Um, when the powerful does not listen to the weaker party, then um, the perception of that threat may lead to violence. 
Um, you may wonder why I talk about the weaker party uh, addressing Russia, but if you compare Russia and the NATO, Russia was the weaker party. What we need now is to stop the conflict, the armed conflict and the violence, not only in Ukraine, but also in other places such as uh, Syria, Afghanistan, and Myanmar and more. Damages from inhuman act can only be cured by humanity. It's really interesting to, to, to learn about this, but it's also a bit heavy to understand at the same time, especially if we only like to watch, to watch some videos on the internet. Uh, if I were like a um, uh, senior high school students, and I, I would like to learn more about this, do you, uh, can you recommend me or suggest me uh, a program that your senior university has? Okay, we have the Department of Integrated Global Studies where you can learn about peace um, together with uh, linguistics, um, social issues like culture and tourism as well as environment. So uh, join Integrated Global Studies Department. Thank you very much, Sensei. You're welcome. Have a good one.